Johnston man is being held behind bars tonight after police say he robbed two Johnston gas stations. And we showed you surveillance video of one of his alleged crimes first on Eyewitness News. And tonight, Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian is taking a closer look at Earl Sanford's alleged night of crime. She joins us now from Johnston Police with more. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon Sanford appeared before a judge this morning after being taken into custody in Providence overnight. Caught on camera, this surveillance video shows the moment a man walks into the mobile gas station on Plainfield Pike in Johnston late Sunday night. Another camera captures his interaction with the clerk. Police say he demanded money and claimed to have a weapon tucked into his waistband. Less than 60 seconds after he first walked in, he walks back out. Police say he made off with about $50. That man was later identified by police as 40-year-old Earl Sanford, and they believe he went on to rob this gas station on Killingly Street about an hour later later. By early Monday morning, our cameras captured a car being towed away from a third gas station on Union Avenue just over the Providence line. Police say that's where they took Sanford into custody. On Tuesday morning, he appeared before a judge on one count of first-degree robbery and another count of second-degree robbery, both felonies. A judge ordered him held without bail. And Sanford was ordered held because he's a superior court bail violator. Coming up new at 6, we'll tell you more about his criminal past. For now, reporting live in Johnston, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.